Hey guys, this is Mr. Oliver and I'm here to teach you how to use Final Cut Pro. So for your very first project for Heron TV, you guys are going to be making that rock, paper, scissors movie that we imported footage in the other day. And uh, so let's get right to it. So here's what Final Cut Pro is going to look like. And you'll see I've already got my event highlighted that says Mr. Oliver. And to make a project, I'm going to hit File, New, and then Project. All right, so I'm going to select New and project and now I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to call this the rock paper scissors battle. Once you have a title for your video you're going to be able to hit OK and that's your project and you'll see that it's now a blank timeline. And at the top I've got my event there and I'm scrolling through to look for the footage I'm going to use. And so what I'll do is I'll just press on it and then um, click on it and then press the space bar to start playing to see where my footage is that I want it to start and I like to use the shortcut I <clears throat> to start the video and then whenever I want my shot to end I'll hit the letter O so I tap the space bar to stop hit the letter O and then now I can just drag that footage right in so I've got my first establishing shot of me walking down the hall heading into a classroom so that's my first scene that I'm gonna put in and next, I'm going to look for some other shots, and here's one where Mr. Purse is sitting in his room, and I'm going to just drag that in to see what that looks like already. And you can see it's a nice long shot there. He's completely in it using the rule of thirds. But I'm going to trim out the beginning. I'm just playing it again so I can see how the two scenes flow together. And he's going to stand up here in a second. And you'll notice that his head is getting cut off. So I remember this was not the clip I wanted to use. I wanted to reframe that long shot so that he had some headroom. And so I'm going to come back, find the next clip. There he is again. See, I often just keep the camera rolling between clips, and I have just one long clip, and I can easily find the pieces that I need. So that framing looks good. Hit the letter I, hit the letter O, and then I can drag it in. And then I just pull my scrub, scrubber back so I can see how it transitions from one scene to the next. And what I'm doing there is I'm dropping the audio. So in case you had other groups in the background or other people talking, it doesn't matter because for this project, we're going to just have no sounds. So I'm just showing you two scenes, but you'll do more. Now what I've done is I've grabbed some titles. And so the T from the top three icons underneath the down arrow is how you select titles. And I'm just going to take a basic 3D title, drag it into my timeline, and I'm going to type in my title there. Now. There are 360 degree title options. Please don't choose those. Those are for virtual reality projects and we will use those. Um, actually, we won't use those. All right, so what I'm able to do is once I've typed my text, I can move it around. You can see I'm playing it there and to see what it's gonna look like. And all right, now what I'm looking for is for some music and sound effects. So by clicking sound effects, what I'm gonna do is then go over where it says no name and then I'm going to choose jingles where you can find all the songs that are also included in the iMovie suite if you've used that program. So here's the song, you'll recognize it as the Hair and Callout song but I'll just drag it in. It's called Road Trip Long and when I press my space bar to play I get to see what my video looks like with the music. Now I really encourage you to add a lot of sound effects for this project, I, I know that the original one that you saw, um, I had a different song in there, but I also had some footsteps going down the hall and some sound effects uh, of my hand coming in and Mr. Purse's hand coming in. And I chose those also through sound effects, but instead of selecting jingles, I just looked through a variety of other folders that are filled with lots of sound effects. All right, you can also go online to find sounds if you need to. Okay, what I did there is I just ended my movie with the same title that I started with by copying and pasting. But you'll notice the music is too long there. So what I'm going to do is use the blade tool. So by selecting under that little tool that I would just click there, or you can just hit the letter B for a shortcut. Uh, whoops, I don't know what happened there. Let's try that again. So uh, by selecting B under that cursor tool, that's the blade. Now I'm going to slice the song in half. I'm going to go back and now go back to the selector tool. You can also just hit the letter A and then I can select those and delete them. And then now, lastly, I'm going to fade my song. So you don't want the music to just end uh, unless the song naturally ends at the end of your video. So you're going to want to 
make your audio fade as you do that. So that's your job today is to work on editing clips together, adding some sound effects. Uh, next class I'll show you a few more tricks as well as how to export it. But you can see there's other titles there too you can grab. Oh, and here I'm showing an example of how you can put titles over top of your text. So um, when you see it's a thin purple line, it's just going to be on top of it as opposed to the thicker purple line is just going to have a black background. So there I am typing titles over your video. And then by highlighting that text, oh, I'm sorry, I dragged it first, but by highlighting it, I can then take control of the size and of the font. So there I am making it a little larger, dragging it to the middle. Uh, so it's got to be selected for that to happen, though. So um, oh, I'm just having some typing errors there. But I think you guys get the point, how that's going to function. And then once I have my typing correctly there, it's kind of a small window, so it's hard to see. But uh, I can also change the font with it all highlighted. So right now it's Hel Helvetica, uh, but it could go to any of those titles. And what's great is you can see the font uh, right over top of it. And there are a ton of options all in that upper right-hand corner for just, that's called our inspector of how you can change all sorts of things. So then I can go back and look through it and see what it's going to look like. Uh, you can shorten your clips. All sorts of options to do here. All right, so, oh, here I am adding, adding some effects, or some transitions, rather. So you can see I have a crossfade that goes between those clips. I don't know that I would probably want to keep that there, but just to show you that you can get... Um, different transitions by clicking on that transitions tab in the right hand corner. Alright, good luck guys and uh, we'll see where your movies look soon.